Welcome back, y'all. And if you're new, here's a clue. Hit that subscribe. Let's go for a ride. And think about it. If you don't like it, easy. Unsubscribe. Alright, let's get in. Hey y'all, welcome back. Thanks again for tuning in to Orca Pot Racing. Um, today is uh, going to be a track. <clears throat> it's sort of like a NASCAR track, so it's a basic circle. It's all left turns, but uh, it's shaped like a Dorito, you know, so it's sort of a triangular shape with rounded edges. Um, have a seat. Not now. Have a seat. Um, so that Porsche that I just showed you, we have a battle at the end. Um, we kind of go back and forth, so I thought I'd highlight them just uh, so you guys can keep it in mind. Um, let's see. So yeah, I started off in six. Um, you know, that was what I got in the practice rounds to qualifying, and um, you know, hey, at least it's not last. There's some pretty good, pretty good races here. I never catch up to first place, so. This is pretty much going to show you a battle, you know, it's going to show you, there's like probably two, maybe three cars that I kind of go back and forth with. I'm going to chop a lot off too, because it's, you know, we're just basically doing circles. But um, I thought it was exciting, it was pretty fun, so hey, let's show it. Uh, let's not forget about also um, the two for two, um, the, the drive for good. So. If you hit the subscribe button, um, that helps me um, grow the channel from one, but also helps us uh, give donations to um, you know charities, people in need. So it's something you could do for free. Obviously, it doesn't cost you anything to hit the subscribe, and uh, <clears throat> again, it helps me grow. And that's ultimate goal, the long-term goal, is to race, have some fun. Um, bring up some new stuff, hopefully I get to test things out, but overall is to uh, create a, a charitable cause, like do some good in the world. So right there, <laughs> I survived, right? Um, it could have been a big pile of one guy got caught on the wall, you know, I snuck through. And now I have to catch up to uh, this next pack. So most likely I'll fast forward through here. I uh, picked up a penalty. Okay, there you go, good. Um, I mean, I have some people, um, you know, right behind me too. Yep, there you go, I get past. But it's okay, I'll get them back, I'm pretty sure. So this Beetle, you know, to me, that the VW doesn't have a... Uh, a tremendous amount of power like you know the it's pretty good in the turns but it's you know on the straightaways it kind of lags that top end speed um but he tucks in behind me and you know if you could if that car if you can tuck in behind someone and catch their drive then you know it's a pretty decent car so you'll see us kind of go back and forth for a little while he tucks in and he's gets out of the slipstream and tries to go for a pass, but it's really difficult for that car to do it. I mean, but he can take advantage of my mistakes, so there you go. Let's see what's up. Uh, all right. Okay, so everybody kind of went high on this bank and I went low. I like to stay in that first lane, that real, you know, tough lane. Because to me, it kind of cuts that that corner, right? If, you're, if you need to like if you're on track of field, if you're on that outside lane, you know, if you keep running that outside loop, you're actually running longer than if you keep that inside loop, which is shorter. So that's my theory for, you know, that turn is to stay tight and then let inertia kind of throw you out to the outside to set up for the next turn so you can cut in in that corner. And you can see right now, like all the cars in the straight line, it looks like NASCAR because, you know, the first car actually cuts the wind so the car behind can just kind of 
you know, use that as a as a buffer, as a barrier. That first car is taking on all the brunt, you know, wind forces. And that's how you pass, you know, you, you stay tight and then when there's a mistake you go you know, you go for that window. So you'll see cars tuck and then get out, you know, try to make that turn and they if they don't have it, they try to get tucked right back in behind you. And really you can't do anything about it as far as being defensive. I mean you know, other than, you know, slowing the race down and, and then when you do that you separate the pack. So then you have the guys in front, they'll take off and there'll be a big lead because you know, you start squabbling in the back with other cars and, you know, it just slows you down. And then you get, it's hard to catch up because those, you know, if you work together, you can kind of keep the pack tight where, you know, okay, this car is behind me and I know he's going to slip out and get in front of me. I'm not going to challenge that. I'm going to use that to slingshot me, you know, as long as it's not the last lap and you're trying to, you know, it's a deadline to win the race. But you want to stay tight. That's that's the main thing. So just like here, you know, let the car pass. He tucks right back in, and I tuck behind him. That's kind of what happens. What we do. So yeah, I went from fifth to sixth. And now I got to. I'm on him now, right? So I think I got the legs, you know. The Corvette, it does okay in the, in the long run. The, the top end is, is kind of there. So I tried to run him out and over, you know, over break him. So I tried to get break as late as possible, but he kind of hung on to it. He tapped the wall, but he hung on to it. He out broke me, so, or break me, he out broke me out. <laughs> he, he, you know, we were playing basically chicken to the wall. Who can not put on their brakes, you know, to the last minute and he beat me out there it wasn't worth me crashing but as you can see I did get the move I'm in fifth now so you know a lot of it is patience I know we're racing he gives me a bump right here I kind of slowed he gives me a bump and I get a penalty for it there's I couldn't go any faster and if I did I would have been into the wall so again this is some of that um, you know, Grand Turismo Sport uh, judging here, you know, I, I can cry about it or deal with it and keep, you know, keep going. Um, you know, you just keep going. You can't, you can't win them all. And I serve the penalty right here. And that's a steep penalty, as you can see. So all I gotta do is try to, hopefully I can, uh, he wasn't too fast and here comes that beetle again. I get passed up twice for that one little penalty, that one bump, right? Let's see. So yeah, we're, we're back battling again. So I'm trying to catch up to my hot spot. I can see him in front of me, I just can't catch him. Um, he's going to find that pack. If he can find that pack, he's going to tuck in and pull away with that pack. Now, me and this beetle can work something out to try to catch up to this pack. Sometimes there's a, you know, you can bump drive. So basically, if you're, you know, behind a car that you're not extremely faster than, that car can bump you just enough, just a tap to etch you forward, and they still stay tucked behind you. Um, that's a, a strategy, or again, the guy can pass, you don't fight the pass. And then you you know you kind of tuck behind them so you guys just kind of start throwing each other got each other forward. Um, I like the bump draft. It 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 kind of helps. It sucks when you get in like situations where you have to make a tight turn and the guy bumps you and you know it kind of throws your game off. You have to brake differently and accelerate differently. Uh, so sometimes it doesn't work great. Um, but I think it is the fastest way to catch up to the, uh, to the pack. So here again, I take that inside lane and see if it gives a, an advantage. The Beetle is actually a better cornering car in my opinion. But if you, you know, if you have the right line, you can't beat it. So he's right on my tail. 
And look, you can go and he gives me the bump. And that's what I'm talking about. See, I don't get a penalty, he doesn't get a penalty. That's, you know, it wasn't anything uh, egregious. It wasn't anything outrageous. I didn't, you know, spin out and it didn't cause me to do anything differently. It just moved us closer to the, the next car, which will help us move closer to the next pack. So, in my opinion, it worked. Uh, he had a little squirrely going on there which kind of held him back and now I'm closer to the car and I can't slow I'm not going to slow down for him but you know I do if he can tuck back in that's great but that's that's the only way to move forward otherwise you know the cars are pretty much based around the same horsepower and weight um, you know they try to balance the power the power and weight distribution of each car so And he's going for his move. Side by side. I'm gonna respect that. I'm gonna take the outside. He had the inside. I'm not gonna not gonna try to shove him off the track or all that. It was successful. Next the next lap around, I got the inside. And he respects that. That's great sportsmanship. That's what racing is. That when you can race at that caliber, and that's usually like the the A and the S ranking, um, you can find it in the B ranking too, um, you know, again, I always think that's what it's about. Alright, so, this should be the last lap, and, um, you know, I'm kind of happy coming in fifth, I mean, it's, it's a... It's upward mobility, right? I started off in sixth, I gained the spot. I'm okay. Oh no, it's not the last, I'm sorry. Gotta change these tires, they are pretty worn. I noticed because every time I come out of this, uh, the very last bin, I would always kind of skip on the wall. I, my mirrors or something would scrape the wall and slow me down. Um, but I think it was a good time to pit. Um, I didn't lose any of, you know, no real position. I'm back at six right now, which isn't bad. And I'm with the pack, which is great. It, the timing couldn't have been any, any better. All right, back in fifth. Somehow I got a penalty. Oh, yeah, there was a group of cars, right? They were all kind of jockeying for position. That's why you see more than one penalty. I tried to just kind of sneak in behind them and let their may that mayhem happen, and then I kind of scoot through that but um it didn't happen like that that i ended up banging doors with them and i didn't let off enough um so i got the penalty i'll serve it and keep it moving but it wasn't anything no one did anything um you know to kill the other person or knock them off the track or anything like that it was all all fair play like you know There's that Porsche I was talking about. Here we go. So now I got my eyes set on the pack. I'm not worried about the people behind me. Now, you know, Corvette versus Porsche. Germany versus the US, right? So, yep, that inside lane. Got him. Every time. I'm, I'm gonna, every time, I'm, I'm gonna take it if it's open. And just like that, uh, I guess the VW is also a German car, you know. Top end isn't necessarily there, cornering is awesome. And if they can tuck in behind you, they got you, really. They can pull away. And just like I said, that corner, all it took was that corner and he got me. But the Corvette has long legs, so I got my stride. Let me get that top end going. Find that inside. Now I'm tucked behind him. And there I go. I should give him the pass right here. Yep, inside. Did he carry enough speed? He, he did. He carried enough speed, so I gotta tuck him behind him. 
but it was there for the taking. You saw me like I, I, I saw what I needed to do, which I'm gonna try to get in here. And what can I say? He has that position on me. So it pulls away. I take a few laps, you know, and we're just kind of going through back and forth. I'm just trying to catch him. And then behind me, my tires are starting to wear now. And this should be the last lap. I get caught here. He outmaneuvered me. Slight bump right here. I tried to get back on the inside and couldn't do it. He outcorned me, probably had fresher tires than I did. And went for the move and got it. So I ended up in fifth, still a, a you know a place higher than I started. Um, unfortunately, he had penalties, so it wasn't a super clean race. And I'm not sure if I had the fastest lap. I don't think I did in this one. All right, thanks for watching. But again, if you thanks. like what we did here, let's uh, do it again. Be well, um, and tune in next time. Hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And subscribe. I definitely appreciate you and overall be well. Till next time. Peace.